Lana Rhodes scams her community and runs away with $1.5 million in cryptocurrency. So let's get right into this story. So Lana Rhodes, a well-known adult star and influencer, launched her own NFT project last month. The idea raised $1.5 million, promising a profitable investment. It was all going swimmingly until Lana Rhodes quit the NFT project and vanished with the money in yet another NFT fraud according to a recent claim. So the YouTube investigator known as CoffeeZilla has put together a short video that outlines the recent events surrounding the NFT project created by the famous adult star-turned-influencer Lana Rhodes. So the project is called CryptoSys and features collections of cartoon images of Rhodes, which the actress told her audience would be a valuable investment as she would be working hard to increase the value of CryptoSys's and make it a lucrative investment for holders that they can sell for more than they paid to mint. Which, this is the thing, right? This is something that you should basically never say, right? You should never try to promise someone, oh, we're going to make it a lucrative investment for holders that they can sell for more than they paid, okay? That's basically like you're guaranteeing your followers, guaranteeing people who may be sent for you into this sort of scam, right? Because if something goes wrong, they all are screwed, especially if they put in a large amount of money. So in one of his recent videos, CoffeeZilla, a well-known YouTube investigator, if you've ever seen his Save the Kids videos, he's done very good stuff with that, revealed facts about the intricate scheme. CryptoSys was the name given to Rhodes' lucrative project that turned out to be a hoax. Last month, the initiative began with NFTs or cartoony representations of the adult celebrity. Now, this is also the weird thing about this, too. Why couldn't she just have created a legitimate NFT? Like, this is something that I don't understand, right? Like, you wouldn't even have to scam your fans, you would not even have to scam the people that, I don't know, follow you on Instagram or watch your stuff or pay for stuff or whatever, right? Your fan base or whatever. Like, think about it. She probably has millions of people that would be willing to give her money or thousands of people, apparently, that would give her money. She could have just made, like, a legitimate NFT. It is very easy to make a NFT, In fact, she could have easily made an NFT in like 20 minutes or even 10 minutes and probably have made the same amount of money legitimately, right? Like it doesn't even make any sense to go through all this for a scam, right? When you could just make something in under 20 minutes and be like, hey, here's my NFT, uh, blah, 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 and bam, there you go. Right? Like, it's not hard to make an NFT at all. You can literally create an NFT of anything in under 20 minutes. It's literally that simple. So Rhodes, on the other hand, attempted to sell the project to her audience. According to her, the project was designed to increase the value of NFT holders, making it a profitable investment. Which, hey, guess what? Are you selling, like, a security? Like, you can't guarantee people that, like, hey, if you meant this, this is totally going to be a profitable investment. You can't do something like that. You might be able to say, like, hey, there's going to be scarcity in the future or scarcity in the future. You could be like, hey, you know, we are going to make this a limited run thing. That would be completely different as well. It's like you can't, like imply or even guarantee like hey this is going to be a profitable investment 
Like, that's so bad. So Rhodes also guaranteed the holders that the coins would sell for more than they paid to mint. Like, again, you can't say crap like this, right? And to be frank, I would not be surprised if she doesn't get sued by one of her fans, right? That you can't guarantee someone that they are going to make more money by buying this one thing, right? You could basically be saying like, hey, you could do this and do this and you could probably profit. That's very different than saying like, hey, you could or you would be able to sell this for more than you paid to mint it. Like you can't do something like that because you're guaranteeing them something. So while it may not be enough to persuade some, others may not require a large sum of money to invest in an NFT. Furthermore, Rhodes said in a second social media post that the endeavor isn't a one-time occurrence. Other models have signed to design their own lines, she added, and the lucrative initiative has been compared to an NFT franchise. With Rhodes stating that the brand and its value will continue to rise, and Rhodes NFT project included a roadmap that promised various incentives as sales reached a certain percentage. Again, I don't understand why you just couldn't make literal NFTs in under 20 minutes. Like, I, I just don't understand. So Rhodes vanished from the digital environment less than a week after the $1.5 million was donated, which was bad for the users who purchased her NFTs. After withdrawing the funds in Ethereum, the well-known adult star stated that the community had become hostile to her. While some of those who fell for the complex con just lost money, the effort will be remembered for a long time. Yes, before the hoax was discovered, one of the numerous people who decided to invest in Rose NFTs tacked the project's emblem on their bodies. Why? Why? Why would someone do this? Why would someone do that? Like that oh that makes no sense. I really hope no one's out there that like stumbles upon this like episode does something like this for someone that they don't really know, right? I mean this is for like any like influencer out there. Like you don't know them, right? Don't get a tattoo of them or like their logo or whatever. <sighs> The topic has received a wide range of responses on Reddit. Some users speculated on whether the adult star will be arrested, while others simply laughed at those who fell for the new rug pull. One user, Salt Vault 7, described remorse as wonderful. They further questioned if consumers are aware that NFTs are not included in a blockchain and those NFTs are worthless barcode images, according to one user. Rhodes' Twitter account currently has 1.5 million followers. The prominent influencer hasn't tweeted since Sunday, and there's no mention of the NFT initiative in her most recent tweets. Nonetheless, her profile photo is the project's animated logo. Wow. That is some depressing stuff, right? And here's the thing. Only put money into things that you are willing to lose, right? There's always risk in everything that you do. There's always risk in anything that you invest money in. There is always risk. No one can guarantee you anything, right? And even though like we mentioned like things like this, right? Like if you put your money consistently every single month into something like the S&P 500, in like the form of an index fund or a mutual fund, over a few decades, you're pretty much going to retire a millionaire, right? Just due to compound interest, due to the historical data that is provided from everywhere from the S&P 500 charts, right? Like just based off history, you could pretty much assume that you will have an annual return 
high enough to basically retire with seven figures after consistently investing a certain amount of money every single month into the S&P 500, right? Like you don't got to overcomplicate it, right? But you got to do your own research. There's still potentially a risk that you will lose money, right? But pretty much, it's practically almost guaranteed, right? Just based off the historical data. But that doesn't mean that anyone can actually guarantee you anything regardless because there's always a risk, right? For example, I think this past year is actually down, but pretty much every single year is going to be above if you were to average it out. So it's just something to keep that in mind, right? There's a risk with everything, everything. So just stay safe in terms of like investing into like influencer stuff and to be frank you probably shouldn't be getting involved investing into influencer stuff especially their nft project that has not even been created yet right and the sad part right she could have potentially probably have made like a limited run of nfts Right, since there's like 6,000 buyers, she could have probably made like 1,000 NFTs selling them for like $2,000 a pop. Right, made over two million dollars roughly, or at two million dollars, you know, 1,000 NFTs, 2,000 per pop. Yeah, so two million plus the recurring sales from every single sale of an NFT because there would have been more demand than supply that NFT would probably keep changing hands over time and potentially increase in value, right? But she could have easily done that. She could have like just literally made her own NFTs. So that's why you got to be very careful whenever an influencer starts to pitch like an NFT project or something like that, right? It's like, don't trust it, right? Do your own research. Or only... Use money that you are 100% okay with losing. We'll see you in future episodes. If you want to learn how to get out of debt, go to 40inbox.com.